Hey, what's going on Magic the Gathering fans? Welcome back to yet another video of a Modern Horizons 2 uh, Collector Booster Pack Crack. As you all know, if you've been uh, following our uh, YouTube channel prior to, well I guess, geez, the Christmas holidays and Thanksgiving, I had cracked about 15 Collector Booster boxes from Modern Horizons 2. Um, unfortunately, you know, I, and I'm sorry for not even giving a heads up, uh, we packed up and relocated from where we were living to another state. So, um, you know, things did get shut down for a while. Haven't made a lot of YouTube videos or any YouTube videos for that matter in quite some time. But looking to get back into it with this crack of Modern Horizons 2 Collector Booster. And I want to kick things off in 2022. You know, um, just about a week ago, I uploaded a video of Portal 3 Kingdoms. Just kind of sharing my personal collection with you all. Um... You know, and, and so just getting back to this Modern Horizons 2, um, what I want to do is restart our, or not restart, but just bring it back to life, the card giveaways that I had been doing for the longest time. So with Collector Booster Pack Cracks, normally if I did a double Pack Crack video, I would gift away a card of value anywhere from $1 up to $20, depending on the dice that you roll, the magic dice. So I'm going to bring that back in this video. Please uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to be entered into that drawing. And you will be entered into it. And I will, uh, let's see, it is the end of January. So let's give until the end of February for all comments to come in. And we will announce the winner of the drawing um, at the end of February, just like we did in all the other videos. So again, you have to like the video, you have to comment, you have to subscribe. And you also have to live in the United States or, yeah, actually just United States. I, we sent out a couple cards overseas that ended up costing even more than the, the prize uh, value of the cards to ship them out there. So I won't be doing that again. Um, again, you have to be mainland USA in order to participate, potentially even Hawaii. I can look into that. Um, so let's say, yeah, why not? Include Hawaii as well in the U.S. Virgin Islands. But anyways, I know I'm ranting. Um, thanks for welcoming me back, you guys. I hope you like this video. We're out here today because, or I'm out here today because I'm still hunting for a foil Ragavan. And I can't believe it that, you know, 15 packs later, and I only cracked, uh, I did crack three Ragavans, the extended art, the borderless, but did not crack any in uh, extended art foil, or sorry, full art foil. So the hope is that I might get lucky and stumble on that here today. So, without further ado, let's get right into it and see what we can get from this Modern Horizons 2 Collector Booster. Now, also be aware, there are some pretty moderate, modest value uh, commons in this set, as well as uncommons. Um, so you will want to keep an eye out for those. We didn't stumble on any, but um, are getting things off to the right start here with that Misty Rainforest right off the bat. The Extended Art Misty rainforest and again extended art because at the top you still see the border at the bottom you still see the border but it's extended through the side so um, just for those of you who might be new to magic we're just getting into it and learning a little bit about collecting that's a little tidbit of advice for you so first great pull misty rainforest right there we'll continue on to the sketch cards we've got a non-foil and actually let me let me get the see if the light will help here a little bit there we go that's a little better so Getting into the sketched non-foil and following up that with a ignoble hierarch. Another fantastic pull, actually. Um, excellent for a non-foil. Then we're getting into the foil, uh, non-etched foil retro reprints with a talisman of hierarchy. I'm going to put that there to keep the foils separate from the non-foils. And actually, apologies, folks. Just going to reorganize ever so slightly here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me put those up at the top. Okay, so continuing on, we've got another regular foil blacksmith skill. We've got our first etched foil retro frame and a scalding tarn. That is an etched foil retro frame scalding tarn. It is a beautiful freaking card, nonetheless. Um, so that's an amazing, amazing little first pack crack there. Shift these down. Sorry, guys. It's been a while. Like I said, been a while since I did one of these, trying to keep things organized so you can see the hand as it drops. Got a glimpse of tomorrow. Foil extended art. Set that right there. And our token card. 
Not a bad first pack at all. Misty Rainforest, Ignoble Hierarch, and a Skelding Tarn all in the same pack. That's phenomenal. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Here we go into the commons again. Uncommons. Nothing super arousing there. We've got our first etched foil land, which we're... A nice little touch. Honestly, I, I kind of do like the etched foil lands over just your standard foil lands. I think it's got a little bit of flair. I mean, it, you know, take it or leave it, but I like it. Then we got our first extended art rare, or our packs extended art rare right there. We'll stick that at the bottom because it's not a fancy one. A sketched art card, Fractured Sanity. That's a dime a dozen, unfortunately. We'll add that to that pile there. And uh, there's a Glimmer Baron. Another dime a dozen retro foil. And a fairy seer. Hard to read that one. I don't know if you can see the printing on that up at the top. It's like doubled over. Very, uh, it looks like a misprint slightly. Very hard to read. And then we've got a Zuran orb. Etched foil regular art kind of card. Just keep shifting things around. And wow. Cabell Coffers, etched foil, standard card print, but uh, an amazing little hit right there, followed by a hell, Hall of Heliod's Generosity. That was a fantastic pull right there as well. No complaints, man. No complaints. Another great pack there. And that was a retro foil, non-etched retro foil. Um, which have a little bit more value if you're in this for the collecting standpoint. They have a little bit more value than your etched cards. So, um, from a collecting standpoint or value standpoint, great two first packs. Let's keep it going. Just trying to see the camera keeps auto adjusting and it's not doing a very good job. So, we've got a, our commons, uncommons. Stick those to the side. Then, we've got our etched foil land. And a dam, which is actually an awesome card. Destroy target creature. A creature destroyed this way cannot be regenerated. And that's for a two swamp cost. That's an excellent little play card. Um, if, if you haven't been following this set for very long, it's easy to understand why that card has so much value. Shardless Agent, good old classic. Full art card, but nothing fancy. Let's stick that one up there. We got a Gargadon. Foil sketched, our first foil sketched. Ephemerate, retro foil, Land of War Tribe, classic card, etched foil, retro print, and a Piru the Volatile Elder Dragon. Not the best dragon card, extremely costly, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Arid Mesa, extended art foil. Excellent little pull right there. Add that to the winner's pile. Sorry guys, I'm really struggling here to figure out how I'm going to sort these cards. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Let's just take these off camera. We'll just put the commons and the tokens off camera. And that'll add the full art cards up there. So there we go. Now we're moving. All right, oh, what do we got here? Commons, commons, uncommons, uncommons, and planes. And uh, Yavamaya, Cradle of Growth, Extended Art, Non-Foil, Ravenous Squirrel, Womp Womp, Moderation, Womp Womp, Rakdos Headliner, Womp Womp, Faithless Salvaging, Womp Womp. Not a good, de not a good pack at all. Glimmer Baron, Etched Foil, Retro Foil, Glimpse of Tomorrow, Etched Retro Foil, Rare and a Rashad and Dog Hand Retro Foil. That was a trash pack. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to try to sweeten that one up at all. What can you do about it? You get some winners. You get some losers. That right there was a freaking loser. All right. Through the commons and uncommons. Not seeing anything fancy in terms of value there. Let's drop that swamp. That swamp's nice. I like that one. can barely see it on the camera though. Academy Manufactor, Extended Art Rare, nothing good. World Weary, Verdant Command, 
Blaza Top Chancellor, Glimmer Bairn, Prismatic Ending. That's a good one. That's a nice little uh, uncommon card right there. That's a winner. Territorial Kavu, Garbage, and Priest of Felwat Rites, also Garbage. So a couple of not good packs, a couple of really nice packs. What can you do? Oh, hope everybody's having a good week, man. It's been pretty hectic over here. I don't know how many of you have moved recently, but it's never fun. Just so much shit all over the place to unbox and just life's so chaotic when you go through these uh, big moves like that from out of state. All right, starting off strong here. Arid Mesa, Extended Art. I have a feeling this could be a good one here. Nice, a Skyon of Draco, Full Art, Mythic Rare. Beautiful little pull right there. Vile and Tumor. Nice little retro print. It's not high in value, but I like that card, the Death Touch, but it is a cost four. Nested Shambler. Galvanic Relay. Solitary Confinement, one of the etched standard prints, Womp Womp. And a Yavamaya Cradle of Growth foil in the retro print, which is actually a modest, modest uh, pull right there. Not too fancy, not, not too great, but I think between the Skyon, the Arid Mesa, and the Yavamaya, that was overall a good pack in the grand scheme of things. What do we got here? Nothing too fancy there. We'll start our extended off with a Piru the Volatile. Wait, dinner. General Ferris Rhetoric. I actually haven't come across that in 15 packs. I haven't come across him very frequently. Magnetic Sinkhole, Retro Foil, the good old Soul Talisman. Etched Retro, and an Inevitable Betrayal. That was a real uh, sucky butt pack as well. I don't know, I'm getting a little anxious. I hope we pull a few more uh, zingers here. We do have three, four good land cards that were pulled so far, plus the Hall of Heliod's Generosity. I guess we're doing all right. Scalding Tarn, five fet four Fetchies, I think, are pulled in there, and the one Cabell Coffers. That's not too bad. Captain Ripley Vance. All right, we've got a Void Mirror here for our first for our extended art card. Rakdos Headliner, Lonis, the Cryptozoologist. Another Prismatic Ending, that's a great card, but that is a retro foil print, so it's actually even more valuable than the non, than the etched version. Steep Through, Womp Womp. Vindicate, Womper, Womp Womp. And a Sanctifier on back again, it's... There's some value there, not much though. Lots of fetchies, lots of fetchies actually now that I'm thinking about it. We got, yeah, four plus the Cabal and the uh, Hall of Heliod's Generosity. All right, let's see what we got here. Unmarked Grave, not a terrible uh, extended art rare. Not bad, not great. There's some value again there. Endurance, that's a great little pull right there. That's a nice little mythic pull. Add that to the sky on. Universal Automaton, Retro Print, Non Etched, Sketched Blossoming Comp, Soul Snare, and a Goblin Bombardment. What's with all these? Oh, there we go. We got a nice little sneaky deaky in at the end there with a Dothy Voidwalker. Extended art foil. That's a nice little pull, actually. Very nice little pull. Oh, and a timeless. Oh, never mind. Those are a dime a dozen, aren't they? The timeless dragons. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Do hitting pretty strong here. I think we have a good batting average. If you're in a sports, not doing all that bad. And we've got a Usri Fortune's Flame, who is useless. Nykthos Par Paragon, why can I never pronounce it? Nykthos Paragon, I don't think any of those are any good value there. Weather the Storm, from our good old Modern Horizons reprints, by the way. you got to pay attention to those symbols for the difference between the Modern Horizons 2 and the Modern Horizons 1 reprints. Tribute Mage, 
a Eve or AV, the progenitor ooze, etched retro foil, and a shardless agent retro foil. All right, we're down to our last two packs. We need to pull some big zingers out here. Still hunting for that bloody foil ragavon. Will this collector booster box, or well, this per particular collector booster box, I should say, have a case yet? Will this be the winner? I don't know. Let's see another prismatic ending. That's a good pull. And inevitable betrayal. Ooh, Garth the One Eyed for a uh, mythic sketched pull. None of these are any, you know, we're just looking at garbage, basically. Absolute garbage. Let's get something good here on this last pack. Either or, though, I think overall it still is a winning box. Still got that endurance. Still got those four or five uh, fetch lands plus the Cabal coffers. So it's not all that bad. There we pulled another fetch lands. Marsh Flats. Good old Marsh Flats. Got a grief as well. Grief is good. Not giving me any grief. That's a great little pull. And just totally bombing it here in the end, it looks like. Oh, we did get a Sword of Sinew and Steel. Modern Horizons uh, Mythic Retro Foil there. So not all that bad. Let's do a quick little recap. I know you guys appreciate those. Save you all some time if you don't want to watch the full length of all my other videos. Got a Misty Rainforest, Marsh Flats, Arid Mesa, Yavimile Cradle of Growth, and a dam for valuable extended art rares. We got the Dothy, Vo Dothy Voidwalker, as well as the Arid Mesa Foil Extended Arts. We got the Garth the One Eye and Garth One Eye and Ignoble Hierarch for our sketched cards. That have some value, a grief and endurance, a scion of Draco for some value there in the full arts, and then the good old Cabal coffers, etched standard print foil, as well as what else have we got here? We've got the Scalding Tarn in the etched retro foil, as well as that's it, nothing really valuable there. Prismatic ending, I suppose. Um, you can add that to that list. And then what else? A Sword of Sinew and Steel, Prismatic Ending, another Prismatic Ending, the Yavimaya, and the Hall of Geriads, of Hiliad's Geriosity. So not all that bad. Definitely, definitely turned a little bit of a profit there um, on the boxes, whether I want to dole them out as singles or if I, I've got some excellent cards if I want to add them to my deck. So pretty happy with that. Again, hope you guys liked it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, and you will be entered into our free card giveaway that I will draw at the end of February of 2022, um, and we'll announce the winners of that drawings in, a, I guess, the first video of the month of March. Um, so again, stay tuned. More to come. Hope you guys enjoyed.